Hello my friends, today I'm going to film a flip through for my journal, the first journal of this year. Now you may be thinking, Emma, it's only July. Why have you finished a journal already this year? And that is a good question. <laughs> So basically, I decided in 2020 to kind of try something different this year and do one journal for each season. However, after finishing this journal, which is uh, pretty thick, she a thick one, I realized that this was too big of a size to do like multiple of in one year. Current journal is this one which will be my second journal of the year size comparison there we go so yes this was my first journal of this year it was my winter journal and my goal for 2020 was to kind of do a flip through of each one as i finish that is what we're doing today this is my winter 2020 journal flip through i'll link the brand of journal down below however i've actually found it kind of hard to find online which is another reason that i switched to the other journal that you see or that I showed you because I bought this journal in person at one of my favorite stationery stores in New York City called Goods for the Study, which is a little bit sad because I did love this journal. I loved the size of the pages and the rounded edges, just the overall aesthetic. Um, but yes, I will keep searching for where you can buy this one. But anyways, this is probably going to take a little while to go through. I started this journal January 1st, 2020. And I finished it at some point in March, however, March and like April just kind of blurred together as I think it did for a lot of people. <laughs> so I don't think I wrote the exact date of when I finished it, but yeah, you'll see the dates as I go through. I have always journaled consistently since I was about 16, but I started journaling like this um, maybe like a year and a half ago when I started watching K-pop journal with me videos. This is not a K-pop journal, I just was inspired by the way that those super aesthetic K-pop YouTubers do their journals. And I've always written my poems in my journal, um, and so it was just like this weird mix of like scrapbooky stuff and then poems that were half written, random thoughts that I would never want to show anyone. <laughs> and so I decided to start journaling like this as kind of like a purely creative expression. I have a separate journal for my poems now. It is this little one from Muji that I decorated. It has a little plastic cover on it and that is where I write all my thoughts and such. And then I will sometimes incorporate them into here after I've written them. But yeah, I basically started this journal to be for creativity, which is kind of ironic why I'm now doing a flip through because I definitely at one point was like, I will never do a flip through for this. It's just for me. It's not for anyone else to see, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. The problem is that I now love it so much that I want to share it with you guys. <laughs> Without any further rambling, let us begin. So um, in all of my journals, I always put a random K-pop sticker in the beginning. Usually one that's a little bit more meme than this. I put this Kyungsu one in here because 2020 is the only year that we will have an entire year of him enlisted. The whole year. So, yes, that's why it says 2020 without me because Kyungsu is in the military right now. So, yes, I think that's why 2020 has been cursed so far. Then I have this little, just kind of like an intro page, my signature up there, and the date January 1st through March question mark. <laughs> like I said, I just don't know what time is anymore. And then a little winter thing that I put in there just decorated with a white pen. This was a bag that I ripped up from Muji. I tend to get bags at Muji because I reuse their paper bags for journaling scraps. Then we have my little 2020 page. A lot of this was from an EXO Obsession album that I cut up for journal scraps. And then I think this came in the, what's it called? Limitless NCT thingy. And then this girl sticker that's supposed to be me or some version of me that says it's okay because song of the year, last year and this year and probably my whole life is then that's okay by Kangsu. And then this was my first page of 2020. It was just kind of like a New Year's recap kind of page. I think this quote was from Cloud9 because right at New Year's, I flew to visit my brothers. I was listening to the EXO song Cloud9 while I was in the airplane, so yes. This was from the EXO Seasons Greeting, 
These are quotes from the OST that Baekhyun did for that drama. Um, and then this was just a little recap on the new year. Some exciting things that happened. And then this sticker was a freebie that I got at a cup sleeve event. There's my plane ticket from the trip that I was just talking about with my brothers. A little Polaroid of me, one of my favorite journaling things, this little Polaroid printer, um, because you can take photos on your phone and then print it out instead of carrying around like five cameras at a time. <laughs> and then just some little things that I did at the beginning of the year. I bought a plant, actually this plant that's over here sticking in, and named him Kyung Dude, and some things that I was listening to slash watching slash reading and a random photo of NCT. I'm not really sure why that's there. <laughs> this was another page just from the beginning of the year. I was still at home. Um, I was off of school and so I was going to the beach a lot and this was a Michelangelo um, journal excerpt or letter excerpt that I had studied at the end of the first semester and so I ripped that up and put that in there. And again, just some like thoughts since I was home. I actually did not like this page very much. Uh, I changed it multiple times and eventually I just kind of gave up and moved on with my life. <laughs> These pages were from January when I went back to New York and then Ashley came to visit me and her and me and Kat had birthday celebrations because Kat and I have the same birthday. So this was just like random things from that visit. It was January 16th through the 9th, just like receipts from karaoke and the journaling store and probably some k-pop things i think this was on cat's christmas presents for me and some photo booth photos this is from the journaling store niko neko sakaya which is my favorite in the city oh there's the little sticker up there and this was a bus ticket because cat and i went to pick up ashley at the airport to surprise her with a giant printout of 10 I actually really like these pages. I was starting to experiment a little bit more. You'll see as this goes along, like how my journaling style changed. But this was one of the first ones I did that like just had a lot on the page. Like there was a lot of different layers and stuff, um, which I got a lot better at as I went. This was another page from that same visit. Photo we took together because on the day that it snowed and a little poem that I wrote. This Super M Beckhand sticker because I was wearing the Super M Beckin shirt that I got a lot at that time of year. That was like a look that I wore a lot. And again, the background here is from the exact album, the Lucky version, which is one of my favorite EXO albums. So I bought a used one and ripped it up for scraps. So you'll see a lot of that as well. This is a page that I did <laughs> completely for Kai. I don't know. I went through this phase at some point during the year where I was just obsessed with Kai's suits that he wore and like the cut of the suits that he wore um, at some of the EXO concerts the year before. So yeah, this was a page for the Gucci man and there really was no other purpose for this. I think I just didn't know what to journal about because school hadn't started yet. So yeah, that's what that is. It is a page dedicated to uh, Jongin's suits because they're really cool. And then I just drew like some doodles and a moon and little sparkles and such. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna cover this right here because it is my class schedule from last semester, but this was just like the start of the semester. I wrote some goals for second semester, and yeah, that was like my class schedule that I wrote out. That's pretty much it. I was just excited for school to start again, so yes. And then this was for my notes from first semester philosophy class that I really liked and so I put it in my journal now that I don't need it anymore. This was some things that I did on the first day of classes. Uh, I hung out with Kat that day and we went to this store called Flying Tiger. This was a little playlist of songs I was listening to at the time. This playlist became my Mood 10 playlist which is on Spotify. I'll link it down below if you would like to listen to it. So. This page was a lot of writing. I just listed out some things, random things that I was thankful for, and I wrote a little bit about the first week of second semester. This is some more things that happened that week. Yeah, this was just kind of like a I want to remember these memories page, and so I did a lot of writing. I got a CD player, and I got coffee with Kat, and I went to a store that I'd never been to before called the CW Pencil Emporium, um, which is where I got this pack of stickers, I think. 
this page was a quote that I really liked at the time and this little drawing that came. I ordered something and this was like a little extra thing that she sent along with it. And then some Polaroids that we took at when Ashley had been there. This was just like a memories page. Yeah, I was trying to be minimal but like have a look to it and again I never fully finished this page because I just like wasn't sure where it was going. I really like this side but this side I just was like there needs to be more but I didn't know what to do. <laughs> a lot of the things that I use for journaling including this brown paper back here are just random things that I saved like bags or flyers like envelopes just like random things that I saved I just save everything and then I often end up reusing it in my journal so I can't really tell you guys like where I bought that kind of stuff but I will link a couple of my favorite stationery stores for washi tape and that kind of stuff this page was for my birthday and like the days leading up to my birthday. This was a little poem that I wrote, just a random like aesthetic page. I was experimenting with burning the edges of a page to see how it went. And I do like how it looks, but as time goes, it just kind of like, look, you can see this piece is about to fleck off. So yeah, I have not really continued doing that, but it was an interesting experiment at the time. And yeah, I had just like a chill birthday this year, so. And then this page was the end to January. Um, I wrote a poem about turning 22 that I put here. And then on these pages are like some random birthday things that happened that I wanted to remember. And then this was actually my January journal entry that I'm pretty sure I posted. Did I post it? But it was just like a letter from January that I wrote. I'll link it down below if I did post that journal entry video. And this is my February page. I really liked how this turned out actually. I remember really liking it. Again, I was experimenting with just having more on a page. Like you'll see this kind of thing I ended up doing a lot more later on. Oh, there's a photo of Johnny under there. This page was about like the beginning of February. Some of my friends from college and I just remember having a really good week that week. I went to see the opera Agrippa for school uh, like with a group of school people and my professor. I just met a lot of new people and I was feeling the excitement of second semester and like already kind of fitting in having your groove with the school and I just had a good week and then that's this is the page that I did about that. I said the third week of classes was both settled and chaotic. That was basically the theme of like a whole six months of my life so yeah. And then this was a page that I did about the opera that I went to see and a song that I was really obsessed with at that time. It was One Man Show by Zico. That's pretty much it. I actually really liked this page for like aesthetics. I just thought it was so simple. I tried to experiment with overlapping this over the crease in the pages, but a whole part of it ended up ripping off. So it like hardly overlaps now, but still I kind of like the effect. This page was about the fact that it is Aquarius season, as you can see. This was a poem that I wrote, that I wrote out, and then this is a poem that Morgan Harper Nichols wrote. Um, I think there's another poem that I wrote, yes, but I'm not going to read it because it's a little bit private. But this one was about my friends and the fact that, like, there's just some places in the city that, like, I associate so strongly with my friends that those places become like our places and that's basically what I was talking about in that poem so I'm also an Aquarius I don't know if I mentioned that this page again I was experimenting with like layering and just having a lot more going on I also was experimenting with like having an entire page like this entire page was just the lyric and then this entire page was from a Muji bag again I kind of like how it turned out um, I have a song up here, Come Through by Eric Nam, because I bought tickets for his concert and so I was listening to his music a lot. And then just some things that I did this week, which was February 10th through the 15th. <laughs> this page was after a cup sleeve event that I went to, I think, with Kat. There's a photo of Kat right there with the cup sleeve. And then this was freebie stuff that they gave away. Uh, I guess it was for Johnny's birthday. Yep, there he is, Johnny. Um, and I'd never been to Cafe Bene before, which is where this event was hosted, and it was super cute. I loved the cafe. We'll definitely go back once things are normal and all. And then we just spent a day in the city, so this was like a out in the city kind of thing. I wrote some of the stuff we did. Receipt. 
etc. You get the general idea. If anyone has been paying attention to how my tea is just slowly disappearing over the course of this video, I honestly don't remember what this page is about. This was a Morgan Harper Nichols poem that I wrote out by Morgan Harper Nichols. I have her book and so sometimes I would just be reading it. Um, and then just some random things. I got boba with a friend. I bought a book on Michelangelo's art, a photo of the Empire State Building. Oh, I guess I did a photo card trade and this was a freebie that came with it. I guess I wasn't sleeping well. I don't know. I don't remember this page particularly. That's kind of the point of this journal. I do try and capture things like that I did, like memories that I want to remember, but it's also just so I can make something pretty. And then this page was for Valentine's Day. I love Valentine's Day and I love the aesthetic of Valentine's Day. So I very much loved this page. It just was cute and bright. Yeah, I'm not going to pull that card out. Sometimes um, these Polaroids will be things that I posted on my Instagram story that I then print out and put in here so that like I can remember what day it was. Like if I go back on my archived stories on Instagram, I can see the day I posted this and know that, oh, it was the day I did this journal page. So that's more for myself than for anyone else. But And then this was a page I did for some of my favorite songs at the time. PH1, I was listening to a lot of PH1 and DPR Live. Yeah, I think That's Okay is on like every playlist that I do, so. <laughs> oh, and Eric Nam Cave Me In. That was one of my favorite songs around this time of year. So, yes. I also was excited about the fact that the NCT comeback was happening soon. Oh, I went to see Parasite with my friend, and I went to the Met with my friend Holly as well. And yeah, that was a great week. She came to visit, and we did a lot of fun stuff in the city. This is actually a tag from the type of tea that I drink. <laughs> they have these cute little quotes on every tea bag. Um, it's just peppermint tea. But yeah, sometimes I stick them in my journal. This one says, today I have grown taller from walking with the trees. And it's a quote from Carl Wilson Baker. February 18th is today and I am tired. So yep, that was that day. I was also watching the K-drama Something in the Rain, which I loved. I love that actor. He's so good in everything he does. Yes, again, I was working on having very busy pages this was from the eric nam concert this was my my wristband that they put on um because i'm 21. this was from my notes from the class when i went to the met this time it was actually for a school thing and these are my notes that i took um my professor like guided us through the met and so yes that's what that is and i pasted it in there at the beginning of the year i was doing these little saturday recaps which were like a bunch of things that happened that week so that I could remember. Eric Nam concert, I wrote a Shakespeare paper, late night candle and study time, just like random things that I wanted to remember. That's one of the ways that I use this journal to keep my memories by like putting the date throughout and then sometimes doing these little recaps of random things that I did that week because it just reminds me of like the day-to-day -day of life and I really love remembering that kind of stuff so. And then this was the weekend following that week. Kat and I hung out one night and we went to Gray Street at like 1 a.m. because Gray Street's open super late on the weekend. And yeah, some things, that was like a really busy weekend, a really busy time of the year. And so I just was kind of documenting all the things that I was doing. I don't know why that Taeyong sticker is there, just for the aesthetic, I guess. And then this was another Saturday recap. It snowed that day, February 29th. And yeah, just a Saturday recap and then <laughs> Smarties. Smarties are my study snack. Like it's like what I like to munch on while I study. I often have a lot of Smarties wrappers hanging around. This whole thing was from Leap Day and I think it was also the day that we bought NCT tickets for the concert that we never went to. <laughs> um, and so that's why Jaehyun is there, I guess. This page was my end of February page. This was my letter to February that I did um, and some things that I was currently consuming. K-dramas, uh, music, things I was watching slash eating slash listening to page. I also struggled with this page a lot and kind of gave up on it halfway through. It looked very different at first. I like this side. This journal entry, I know for facts I made a video of, so I will link that one down below if you would like to watch that. And then this was my March title page. I actually really liked this page. Again, I was doing the whole burnt edges thing, um, and I wrote <laughs> this poem to March that ended up 
not aging well, not at all, because I said, <laughs> I asked March to be gentle to us, and it was not, in fact, at all. <laughs> y'all know, y'all know what happened. So yeah, anyways, some lyrics that I think are from this song, which was another OST that Beckham did, which was like my song of the moment. I listened to that song a lot, which is why I put the Beckham photo there. So yeah, just like some lyrics and the little poem to, to March from Emma. I liked this page. I thought it was very much my aesthetic, which is why I struggled with this page because it felt like not my aesthetic. And so this one was like a little reset for me. Ugh, oh, my tea is gone. This was another writing uh, page. This was a poem that I wrote on March 3rd. I think all of these are poems actually. This one was a poem I wrote. Oh, I think these are lyrics from the Harry Styles song Adore You. A little hello March and some doodles. I was drawing this rose a lot at that time of the year. I also really like this page a lot. I also like these two pages because the colors are very accurate for me for this time of year. Like it's still winter, but they're starting to kind of warm up a little bit, get ready for spring. There's some flowers going on. I guess I'll read this poem. It says, a glow inside me like a flickering candle up and down when you're in the same space as mine. We pass by day by day, not strong enough, no wood to feed a full flame. I'm only throwing sparks and hoping you'll catch one. I definitely edited this poem after this. So this was like the first rough draft, which is often what you see in my journals is like the first rough draft of a poem that I wrote. Um, and then there's this page. <laughs> This page was from the day that the Kick It music video came out and Kat and I went and had a chaotic day out in the city. So at Muji, they have these like stamps and you can decorate your own journal. And instead we did this, which is definitely not what they intended for. And also they were definitely judging us. But anyways, I bought some soil and we had like a really fun spring day out in the city. One of our last actually. This day I remember very clearly and it was just like such a good day. Um, these were like some things from the day. Iced coffee, kick it music video, haircut day, feeling full and capable, dried flowers and coffee. Um, and I said it felt like spring that day, my heart and the day. This bread man thing is referring to Jaehyun. I don't know, it's an inside joke. And then this was a, another poem, a little bit of thoughts that I put in here, but I wanted to keep it private. So I folded it up and made this little flap. Ooh, this one's a little busy. Okay. This one is from the first day of spring. Um, there's literally no purpose to this side. It is just decorative. And then this side is like some things that I did that day, I guess. On the side lyrics from many different songs actually it looks like probably from all the different nct songs because the album came out around that time of year i did that in like a gold pen this paper's from a muji bag and this is from the exact lucky version exo album and the stickers from the exo season's greetings for 2020 so uh this page was another like fun spring day i think it was a whole week actually it was march 1st through the 7th and I was just feeling the spring fever, so I was like out in the city doing a lot of things, uh, going to McNally Jackson. I guess I got PH1's album in the mail. This card is from one of the stalls at the farmer's market. I bought some dried flowers for my friend's birthday to give to her, and so this was just like random things that I did that week. Um, and then this was some things that I was studying in school that week. I was studying the Renaissance and like Michelangelo, Da Vinci, Raphael, um, and I just love the Renaissance. <laughs> and so I wrote a lot about it because I was really enjoying it a lot. And then this postcard is one that my friend Holly brought to me from Edinburgh, I believe. This time of year, I was just really focused on like what I was learning in class and enjoying it instead of being worried about grades. Um, so I think I wrote a little bit about that as well. Yeah, just like the general excitement for school and like spring and enjoying everything that I was doing so this page is another writing page this is from the day that I went to buy flowers that's the stall of dried flowers that this card was from over here I think I posted that on Instagram as well um and then this is a poem that I wrote that I have also posted on Instagram and this is a Morgan Harper Nichols quote that I liked song I was listening to under there. This is again just another like really nice spring day. Just some spring memories. A nice day if you will. I guess I went to Nico Neko Sakaya. Bought some things. So that's pretty much that. 
This page is obviously for the NCT album that came out. I listed all the songs out here. This is from one of the albums that I bought and cut up for scraps. And this was also the time of the semester when I came home. So my school closed for the semester. Um, and so this was like one of the first pages that I did at home. And from here on, you'll kind of see that it starts to become a little bit less about like memories and more of just like a creative endeavor, which is actually when I really started liking to do my pages because I just had so much free time that I journaled so much, like constantly for the rest of this journal. So this is just me saying like, I'm home for the semester. But then the rest of the page was just about Neozone. I actually really liked this page. This page, you can see, this is when I started to kind of figure out the whole layering thing. This was just like so many random scraps of things. Um, this is from Michelangelo's journal. Those are some EXO lyrics. These were like some Sunday thoughts I had after the sermon I listened to. Um, and <laughs> there's a Mimi photo of Kyungsu. I have no explanation. Yeah. I also really liked how this page turned out. These two pages were some things that I wanted to watch and do um, while I was bored in self, the self-distanced quarantine, self-quarantined world. So yeah, there were some movies that I watched or wanted to watch and shows as well. I actually did watch this one. I forgot to check it off. I didn't watch Les Mis though. I forgot about that though. I can still do that. And then these were some things that I wanted to do, which I actually did most of as well. Um, and then underneath were pages from, this one's from Obsession and this one's from Exact that I drew on. Um, yeah, I just drew like some moons and clouds and stuff. This was 100% an experiment, but I actually kind of liked how it turned out, especially like how this side turned out. Yep. This is when the boredom started to set in. Um, this page, I don't know if I have a lot to say about this. As you can see, I was feeling a little bored at the time. Um, and I was doing, trying this overlapping thing. I was trying to get the same effect as this page that I talked about earlier. This one. And I was writing about how I was feeling at the time, you know, my feelings and all that. And then this was from an NCT song, Not Alone, which has definitely been one of my like encouraging songs recently I've been listening to a lot. I just like the lyrics and the melody is just so comforting. So yeah, that's what these uh, lyrics are from as well. And this card is from the Nico Neko Zakaya order that I had ordered online. They have been shipping things out online. They have like an online store. And so I ordered some things from them because I was missing New York and missing the wonderful stores that are in New York. So this page was actually, I was trying to protect this little dried flower that I put in there. Just some thoughts on March and the spring and some things that I was watching. I binged like the entirety of Haikyuu. I rewatched all of Haikyuu, which if you don't know is one of my favorite anime and has been for a really long time. Um, so I rewatched literally all of that and then those are some other things that I was watching. Joan Day vlogs have been my go-to through this whole thing even before I came home for this semester. I really enjoyed the way that she vlogged all the way through her experience in Korea during this pandemic. And then I was watching Exo Ladder. 180 seconds, I think, is the book I was reading. So yes, just like some things that I was currently consuming and some thoughts I was currently having. This was a page I did about the fact that I had been baking a lot recently. I posted a video of me baking these cupcakes. This is the recipe. I put it in there. I also really liked this page. I thought it was really cute and just springy, you know. I also was writing a lot about like random bright sides that I saw to everything that was happening in the world at the time. Um, and so that's what this is. You know in the spring when like the, not cherry blossom, the ones that bloom before that, apple blossom trees, those petals start to like fall on the ground and then it rains and it's so beautiful. That's what I was writing about. Um, and this was a song that I was listening to a lot at the time. It's No Words by Crush. It's actually from the Itaewon class OST, which I was watching that drama. That was one of the things over here that I was watching. Um, and so I was listening to the soundtrack a lot too. And then this was a page that I did about school, kind of the end of school. I was writing a massive essay on Romeo and Juliet. So this one was a quote from Romeo that Romeo says in the play. And then again, just some thoughts on 
like processing through that time. This was my schedule for Tuesday, a very busy Tuesday. School obviously looked really different than earlier in the semester, but that was one of the things that I was just super thankful for at the time was how much I was enjoying the content of what I was studying in school. This is the Sistine Chapel, by the way. I was studying that for a different class than Romeo and Juliet one. But yeah, I just wanted to document like some of the things I was studying. And I think I continued to do that further on because I was just so thankful to have something to keep me occupied and the fact that I was still enjoying my schoolwork so much. So this was another page that I did around this dried flower that I put in there. Um, these are from the PH1 song Like Me, which I really like. It's very cute. And then some things that I did that week... Oh, a DPR live song. This is my favorite off of DPR's newest album. Some scraps from the NCT album is the same as this Neozone album. This was another of the layering pages that I really liked. You almost can't even tell that it's layering because I put washi tape in all the cracks. But yeah, this whole part has like so many different pieces of paper and such on there. This side of the page is another playlist of songs I was liking at the time. There's Like Me by PH1 that I mentioned, Not Alone by NCT that I mentioned, Neon by DPR Live that I mentioned, and then Homebody, Wish You Were Sober by Conan Gray, No Words by Crush, which I also mentioned, and this song called La La La, which is from the Something in the Rain OST. So yeah, that was just like a playlist page that I made, some thoughts and things. I said, amidst the chaos, there is beauty and knowledge, which kind of goes back to what I was saying about appreciating the little things at the time and also just being thankful for school this was just like random little exo obsession uh photo there and some lyrics from a uh, song homebody by ph1 this page i filmed a journal with me for and i explained what it was in that video but basically kat and i have been pen palling since i've been home and not in new york and she sent me a bunch of scraps which i used all of to do this Page. I actually loved how it turned out. It was pretty fun to do because since they were Kat's journal scraps, they were a lot more her aesthetic. So it's kind of like a mix of our aesthetics. So yeah, if you want to see more about that one, I talked a little bit more about it in the journal with me video. This was another page that I ended up really liking. This is my coffee making routine because I was making a lot of iced coffee at the time. I use an AeroPress um, to make iced coffee. Just some like thoughts I was having and then this was another Saturday recap, like I was talking about earlier. I got another order from Nico Neko Zakaya, so I got a bunch of new stationery stuff, like these flower stickers and this girl sticker, and yeah. This page is very chaotic. <laughs> this is a letter that Kat sent me, so I'm not going to open it, but I put that in there because at the time I was like, oh, I'll put all my letters in my journal so that they're in there. But then we sent too many and I didn't want to put them all in my journal. <laughs> but this page was another example where you can see that I was figuring out layering. I really love how this turned out. I have no idea why this photo of Kai is there though. I know there was some connection at the time, but I don't remember what it is. But anyways, usually when I layer like this, I use things that are like relevant. Like this is from the Nico Neko Sakaya order that I got, as is this to kind of like incorporate it. And this was one of the washi tapes that I ordered, but it's so obscure that only I would ever <laughs> notice that really. This was a little creative page that I did. This was some tissue paper and a color association playlist that I have posted. I'll link it down below as well. Um, these are just a couple of the songs from that playlist. And again, this is one of the tea bag quotes. This one says, what a desolate place would be a world without a flower by Clara Lucas Balfour. So yeah, this page, basically the colors from this playlist is this, the colors from this page, if that makes sense, like green and white and neutrals. And so that's why I did that page. This page is actually one of my favorites, just layering on both sides, some thoughts of mine on March 29th. I don't know, I just loved like the colors and how it turned out like some sheet music and stuff so my writing is kind of mixed in there if you can kind of tell i had definitely started to figure it out at this point so which again you can see here like a ton of 
layering here. This page was about Suho's album Self Portrait, which came out around that time. Suho stickers under there. So all of this is my writing and its lyrics from the album. I wrote the album list of songs out. This was my favorite song off the album when it first came out. Yeah, and this was also like a color association page for me because that album was very like neutral toned, kind of these tones just like very soft and beautiful. I loved the album. It was very much like a spring album for me too, so. This was another of my favorite pages actually. This is a quote again from Morgan Harper Nichols. Some memories of things that happened at the time and then layering this page I love so so much. Starry Night, that was another of Suo's songs off his album. This was the last couple days of March. And so I kind of wrote a little bit about that. I said, what a spring of upheaval. <laughs> this was another currently watching page. These were some things that I was watching at the time. A Piece of Your Mind, the K-drama. I was watching a lot of people's like home school vlogs, like other people who were at home doing school to kind of give me motivation yeah and then I was re-watching a lot of random k-dramas but I would like start re-watching and then never finish like suspicious partner and fight for my way and that kind of thing so these are lyrics from exosong universe the next couple of pages I did all very close to each other time wise because like I said I was just journaling so so much so this was like the end of March but I still continued to journal like all of this also at the end of March so yes that is that page is there anything under here oh just a van gogh sticker Pretty much every page at this point is layering because I was so excited that I had figured it out. Yes, this page was like a things I'm thankful for page, little things that were really bringing me joy at the time. This was a quote that someone posted on their Instagram story, so I don't actually know who said it, but it says, you can cut all the flowers, but you cannot keep spring from coming. So if anybody knows who said that, let me know down in the comments. But yeah, I just was kind of reflecting on the fact that like spring continues to come despite the circumstances that might be going on in the world. And that was a really helpful thought for me at the time um, because spring is so beautiful at home where I live. This was another week recap, Saturday recap. This was a poem that I wrote. This page, I wanted to kind of do that overlapping writing look that a lot of aesthetic Instagram journalers do. Uh, I love how it turned out. There's no real purpose to this one, however. It was just more of like a spring mood board, like the colors of spring that I was loving, um, some lyrics and things. But yeah, it mostly was just aesthetics, but I love how it turned out. I think it's so cute. This page was my letter from March, March journal entry page. I'm gonna need to prop this up a little bit. So yes, this is my March journal entry, which I posted um, the video for that. And then this was just like a layering page completely. This again is from the EXO Exact album. It's probably my favorite album for the photo shoot. So. This page, I think I did on EXO's anniversary. These photos I printed out as Polaroids, but they're from this say in a uh, magazine that he was featured in at the time and I had ordered it and so I put those in there. I think these are notes from class underneath those photos. Some exo lyrics and stickers and such. This is lyrics from the song Promise. I don't think I have anything else to say about that one. This folded up here is some thoughts that I had that I wanted to keep private so I incorporated it into this layering that I did. These are for some flowers that I picked in a field. <laughs> this page is the lyrics to the song Promise that I also wrote out here. I wrote them out in their entirety here mostly because I liked the way that it looked. That's pretty much it. I wrote some little memories here and then the flowers and this thought Polaroid photo. So yeah, that's that page. This is like I was saying how it became less about like capturing memories and more of a creative expression because I honestly was not doing a lot <laughs> around this time of year. I was just doing school, focusing on finals, and staying home as much as I could. Oh, this page is so cute. I don't even remember this one. I ordered an ephemera off of Etsy and so this is the note that came with that and a lot of these papers also came in that ephemera. Oh yes, see, that's where it says. Ordered an ephemera from Etsy, so pretty and clean paper. Cause sometimes when you order ephemeras, they have like a vintage like 
musty smell and I don't like that so I was really excited that this one did not have that and it was super inexpensive this right here's a poem that I wrote that I have since edited so some lyrics some flowers again so yes just another springy spring a springy spring page yep a springy spring page <laughs> and that's actually the last page in my journal I do have this one but I don't want to show this writing on the next couple pages I wrote like my thoughts of ending this journal and just like how I was feeling at the time that kind of thing I wrote ended this journal on the 42nd day of March so yes that's what I was saying earlier about like I have no idea what time it is and I said that I find endings to be inspiring some are sad yes but I always feel a clear push to move forward and I was really excited to start a new journal so that is that I'm gonna shoot to finish this journal this is my current journal I'm gonna shoot to finish this one by the end of August so that I'll have uh, winter into spring spring into summer and then fall into winter again so my goal is to have three even though I'm doing it by seasons I'm kind of doing it by like the change in seasons this one I started on April 20th and I'm already this far into it but yeah if you have any questions about like where I buy things or where I get my journal that kind of thing leave them in the comments I tried to address some of the ones that I thought you guys would have ahead of time but I don't know so go ahead and ask if you're curious and thanks for listening to me talk about my life and my journal and I hope you all have a wonderful day